Welcome back, Aquanauts. On here once again. Last time on the holiday, we found all the singing rocks and heard about the existence of singing fish. So let's see if the uh, usual contacts have anything to say about that. And I'm not sure why Kemmelman just said, thank God. I think that might be a translation quirk. Certainly this game has its share of them. But anyway, he doesn't believe in them, not surprisingly, and just goes on some tangent about air bladders. But at least journalist seems to appreciate the knowledge. That's a good attitude to have. I do enjoy Kellman's happy faces. And of course he turns the conversation towards self-promotion. Surprise, surprise. Well, that's Chief Kemmelman, but he gives us batteries, so we appreciate him for that. Anyway, it doesn't seem like either of the usual suspects has any hard data about those singing fish we heard about. So we'll probably have to do our own research as usual. Well, that's okay. Seeing the sights is part of what we came for. Mammonist. The guy's a bit tight with money, but that seems a little judgmental. Oh well. Nothing else for us here. We've got our battery replaced and we've caught up on our dialogue. Time to go sailing. Did I just hear some pings? I'm pretty sure I did. Sounded just like those singing rocks, but we've caught up with all of those, haven't we? Hello? Experiment using sonar emitting four sounds. That's how it was written in Bill's log. I named it Glover Scale. By encountering singing fish, will the mystery be solved? Ping, ping, ping. And it's another royal angelfish, but this time a singer. Intriguing. By exchanging Twitter with singers, you can make contact. I don't know, make your own microblogging joke, kids. Well, as Dolphin is helpfully indicating, we can ping the uh, singer with our sonar to make a contact and exchanging Twitter with it, what is Twitter indeed, uh, will introduce a mini-game that we'll be using frequently throughout the game. It's much like Simon Says, only with icons taking the place of the colors. Same icons we saw from the uh, Singing Rocks. The fish makes its Twitter. We play it back. Fish does a happy dance and gives us some red Kool-Aid. The sphere and the red liquid being discussed, if you missed it, are down in the lower left by our depth meter. Once again, Dolphin is holding out on us, but that's okay. At least he's given us an indication that we need to contact more singers. So we have an immediate goal, at least. 
And while we explore, I should uh, mention, you may have noticed that my voice clarity has not been up to scratch on the first few Aquanauts Holiday videos. Uh, that's because of the post-commentary thing. Uh, Camtasia has been apparently introducing some sort of undocumented tin can filter into my secondary audio tracks. I think I've finally found out why it's doing that and trained it not to. So hopefully uh, from here forward my commentary will not have that annoying tinny quality. Just its usual annoying qualities. And I think I heard some pinging again. It always helps to keep your ears open when you're exploring places. Because you can often hear singers a long time before you can actually see them. Especially if you're not facing the right direction. There's also a Sono Boy on our radar, but we don't need to go to that just yet. We should be able to reach the singer just fine. There you are. Except we just lost camera lock. Now let's just finagle ourselves around a little bit and get him back in our sights. And then it's tweeting time. Hey, buddy. Do, do, do. Uh, those three little spheres at the bottom, under the icons, those are how many tries you have. Uh, if you fuck up, one of those spheres disappears. And if you screw them all up, you have to make contact again and start over. Dear Mr. Pursuer, talk to number four Sono Boy. Interesting. Well, Bill seems to have expected someone would follow him, but I guess that's not surprising. Also, Bill left messages with readers in mind in his log. Mr. Pursuer. No doubt these messages were meant as a challenge. And we have made contact. Well, I guess if you're a known oceanographer and you go disappearing, it's only to be expected that someone will come looking for you. It's almost like you left the trail of breadcrumbs for us. Well, all the better for our investigation, I suppose. So Bill himself set up these Sona boys, it seems. I don't remember if that's ever particularly important, aside from using some of them to get logs, but it does explain why there would be log information uh, registered with the Sona boys. Oh, by the way, uh, I should mention just for your edification that uh, all of the singers for the moment are scripted. There will come a point when we can revisit them freely. That's why they're listed with a level. Each time you successfully communicate with a singer, its level increases and its Twitter becomes longer and more complicated. So if you keep wanting to go back and getting uh, more and more red Kool-Aid from the same singers, you'll have to complete increasingly difficult contacts with them. And there's a trophy for leveling them up all the way. But I probably won't be doing that over the course of this playthrough. And what have we here? Horseshoe crab! Oh, 
Ah, Sea of Melody. We've discovered a new area. Well, we'll go exploring next time. See you then.